But he didn't get it from his dad. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's in Timothy. This honest, this true, this sincere, this, this, this real faith is in Timothy. But his dad was a, was a Greek. Can you give me a little bit more volume, please? His dad was a Greek. Are we getting this? His dad was a Greek. He was outside of the body of Christ. So where did this faith come from? Where did this honest, this sincere, where did this real, true faith come from? Brother King, where do we think that it came from? It came from his mother and his grandmother. Read, Brother Fisher. Which first dwelt. Which first dwelt. In thy grandmother Lois. In thy grandmother Lois. Read. And thy mother. And thy mother. Eunice. Eunice. Uh, listen to this. You ever, have you ever watched, uh, here, I'll give you, just recently, watch the NFL draft. We're wrong. Almost every last one of them said, yeah. I want to thank my mama for what she did. I want to thank my mama for raising me right. Why and where is the father's? So on this Mother's Day, there has to be a mother's hope because some of the men the very men, even within the household, That's right. don't remember. That's right. And there ain't enough stirring up in the world mm. to make them remember. Right. You see, look, look, even Shaquille O'Neal said, uh, uh, doing a uh, commentator reporter was asking him about his father and talking about what about your father? He, he, Shaquille O'Neal said, I don't know that man. Uh -huh. That's right. I don't know that man. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know that man. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know that man. See, there has to be a mother's hope. Men got to stand up. Men got to be men. Men got to run the household. Men has to be the head of the wife. Men have to, have to trust and have faith just as well and Lois and your nice you gotta have that type of faith but but we know I am persuaded that it he is said, also he said Paul said I am convinced I'm convinced that it's in you too what he's saying is despite the fact that your daddy <laughs> is no good. Hasn't taught you anything. Hasn't taught you about the greatness of Jesus the Christ. He hasn't taught you about the death, the burial, and the resurrection. He hasn't taught you about eternal life that lies within the body of Jesus the Christ. He hasn't taught you about the grace that is extended. You know nothing about mercy. If you did, it didn't come from him. It came from your mama and your grandmother. has to be a mother's hope. So mothers have hope. Have that faith that not only Timothy had but have that faith that Timothy learned from his mother and his mother learned from her mother. And you teach them boys. And you teach them girls. You have faith. You trust and you put.
put your confidence in the almighty God because this preacher stand before you to let you know that I had a grandmother Levada Hayes and she, she mentioned my name in her prayers every night and I got a mother by the name of Evelyn Mix family Evelyn Wallace maiden name Evelyn Martin who prayed for me every night despite the fact that he was a Greek there has to be a mother's hope and the hope is that her, her children know God. Amen. Brother Fisher, give me 2 Timothy, the third chapter. And 2 Timothy, the second chapter, verse number 8. 315, 2, 315, 2, 2, 8. 2 Timothy. And we'll close. I want you to read, listen to what Paul also told Timothy. Read. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture. He said from a child. Timothy has known the Holy Scriptures. See, his mama and grandmama didn't wait until he was an adolescent. He was grown before they taught him about Jesus. They did it now. So you look around this sanctuary and you look at all of these little ones. They need to be taught of the Holy Scriptures now. Now. They need to know when they do something wrong. It's not only against your rules, but it's against God's rules. So read, Professor, read. Which were able to make thee wise. Which is able to make thee wise. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. Through Isn't faith. that what it's all about? See, I want my boys to be right there with me. Amen. Amen. I want my boys to be right there with me, Brother Crutchfield. Yes. So I got to teach them. I got to teach them. Read, Brother Fisher, read. Uh, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Their faith has to be in Christ Jesus. That's what we're trying to get to. See, this is a mother's hope. Because sometimes daddies ain't right. Even in the church, daddies ain't right. They ain't right. They can live in the proximity, be in the household, and still not be right. And a mother's, a mother's hope has to kick in when daddies won't. Read 2 Timothy 2 and 8. And then we're going to conclude this message and, 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 and say happy Mother's Day to the mothers. Amen. Remember that Jesus Wait a minute, Christ. What's the, first said? what's the first word again? Remember. Remember. Bring back to remembrance. It means I got to go back in my thought process. I got to remember something that happened in the past. Read. Remember that Jesus Christ, Christ of the seed of David, of the seed of David was raised from the dead. Was raised from the dead according to my gospel. According to my gospel. Now when Paul says my gospel is because he got the gospel from Jesus to Christ. That's what makes it his gospel. So that's what saves us. So we need fathers. <laughs> as nicely as I can say it, the subliminal message today was not really a mother's hope. The subliminal message was some fathers got to get up and do something. You got to be men. You got to walk right. You got to talk right. You have to be the examples. Yes. Lois and, and, and Nices were the 
excellent example, but we need some men Amen. to prepare young men. Yes. That's what we need. Too many mothers are relying upon their hope. That I've said enough and I've done enough to keep them out of jail. I've said enough. I've done enough. I've prayed enough. I've read enough. I've studied enough with them to keep them out of prison. Keep them out of the grave. And that's what we need. We need some fathers to do the same. So you've heard the word of God on today. A mother's hope. If there's someone here today that's not in the body of Christ, <clears throat> someone who's outside of the body of Christ, we want you to come this morning. We want you to be a part of the only church that one can read about in the Bible. It is the church of Christ. According to Matthew the 16th chapter, verse number 18, one has to believe that the church was built up on the statement that Peter made in Matthew the 16th chapter, verse number 16, that thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. Yeah. And Jesus says... Upon this rock, I will build my church. That's the only church he's ever built. And it's the only one that you can read about in the Holy Scripture. Therefore, I will never be a part of any other denomination, any denomination. I will always be in the, the church that you can read about in the Bible. How do you become a part of that? You got to hear the word. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says in Romans the 10th chapter, verse number 17, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hebrews the 11th chapter says in verse number 6, without faith it is impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So once you hear, then you have to believe. Then you must repent of your sins according to Luke the 13th chapter, verse number 3. Where Jesus said, except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And in Romans the 10th chapter, verse number eight and uh, verse number uh, nine and ten, where the Bible tells us that one has to confess the sweetest name that ever rolled off mortal tongue, and that is, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then, despite popular belief, one has to be baptized in order to be saved. Note, I said, be baptized in order to be saved. So if you want salvation, you have to go down into the watery grave of baptism. Mark 16 and 16 says, he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. First Peter the third chapter verse number 18 says, baptism do now save us. There's no fuss about that. That's what the word of God says. It doesn't matter what all of these other religious folks say. Throw your hand up in the air. Pray the sinner's prayer and you'll be saved. That's nowhere in the Bible. Period. Period. We just got to obey God. That's what we got to do. And then when we do that, we live faithfully unto death according to Revelation the second chapter, verse number 10. The Bible says in Romans the eighth chapter, verse number one, uh, therefore there is now no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. That's how you get in Christ Jesus, through baptism, through your belief, through repent, uh, 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 repentance, and through confession. Yes. And then live faithfully unto death. Amen. That's all you gotta do. Maybe there's somebody here as a mother that needs prayer. Maybe there's a father right now that needs prayer. That needs prayer, need confession, need to repent, need to say, you know what, I have not done everything that I ought to be doing. 
to ensure that my family is provided everything that's needed from this from a spiritual perspective we can pray about job we can pray about money we can pray about help but let's pray about our spiritual lives and all of that stuff will come Matthew the sixth chapter verse number 33 says seek ye first the kingdom of God and he'll provide all of that stuff after that but you gotta seek him first don't put him on the back burner I'm telling you I tried it and it don't work you can try to do everything in this world to try to get ahead and you'll find yourself always with the pedal to the metal and never never getting anywhere why because you ain't thought God and you ain't thought God first first so we need somebody to be saved today tomorrow's not promised to any of us somebody needs to come up here and repent somebody needs to confess their fault and they need to do that right now as we stand and sing the savior song of invitation